Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, February 27th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather outlook, then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, tech, and science. But first, you'll be interested to know, today is International Polar Bear Day. Polar bears, crucial to the Arctic, faced intense hunting since the 1700s. The 1973 International Agreement on Polar Bear Conservation by five nations, including the U.S. and Canada, significantly curbed this threat. However, by 2005, polar bears were classified as vulnerable. Despite current stable or increasing populations in some areas, projections show a worrying 30% decline by 2050 due to habitat loss. Check out our Instagram today for some entertaining videos of these amazing animals. Checking out the weather in the Boston area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and feels like 30 degrees with very little wind. The sunset will take place at 5.30 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.22 a.m. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog before nine. Otherwise, increasing clouds with a high near 53 and southeast wind, five to eight mile per hour. Tonight, rain mainly after midnight and a low around 48. Also tonight, it will be breezy with a south wind 11 to 20 mile per hour with gusts as high as 30. Chance of precipitation is 80% with new rain amounts between a tenth and quarter of an inch. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Tuesday will be at 7 a.m. with a high tide around 1 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 39 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, we'll see rainy and windy conditions on Wednesday with a high near 56, followed by a mostly cloudy night with lows around 31. Thursday offers a chance of morning snow, then sunny with a high near 39. Friday will be sunny with a high near 45 degrees, and Saturday is partly sunny with a high near 54. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, Sparkle, a 10 week old Chihuahua, was recently rescued and adopted after being found near a busy highway in Boston. A good Samaritan from Pine Street Inn discovered the three pound black puppy wandering close to Interstate 93 in Dorchester and intervened to prevent potential harm. The Animal Rescue League of Boston then took Sparkle in, confirming her good health. After being spayed, she was made available for adoption and quickly found a forever home. The Animal Rescue League commended the Pine Street Inn resident and staff for their crucial role in saving and securing a new home for Sparkle. Now on to sports. At the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis, teams are closely analyzing the draft prospects. Key quarterbacks like USC's Caleb Williams and North Carolina's Drake May are in the spotlight. Wide receivers, including Ohio State's Marvin Harrison Jr., are also drawing attention, though it's been rumored he won't actually work out. New head coaches and GMs such as the Chargers' Jim Harbaugh, face scrutiny, and the future of quarterbacks like Kirk Cousins is a hot topic. Each team has unique priorities, 
with some focusing on upgrading specific positions like wide receiver or quarterback, while others negotiate contracts or strategize for the draft. This event is crucial for shaping team rosters and strategies for the upcoming season. But we are hearing rumblings that a lot of the so-called stars won't be showcasing their talent. The Celtics didn't play last night. Tomorrow night, though, they're at the Garden to take on the 76ers. In national hockey, the Bruins on the road lost in a shootout to the Kraken 4-3. In top news. The Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York has received a monumental $1 billion donation from Dr. Ruth Gottsman, enabling the institution to offer free tuition to its students. Dr. Gottsman, a former faculty member and chair of the school's board for 55 years, dedicated this gift to her late husband, David Sandy Gottsman, a notable investor in Berkshire Hathaway. This donation, the largest ever to a medical school in the U.S., is part of the Gottsman's long-standing commitment to healthcare philanthropy. Dr. Ruth Gottsman's impactful career at the college includes founding the Adult Literacy Program and the Emily Fisher Lando Center for the Treatment of Learning Disabilities. This transformative gift aims to attract diverse, talented students, relieving them of the burden of educational debt which averages over $200,000 for medical graduates. Starting this August, all students at the college will benefit from this free tuition. In business news, MicroStrategy, led by Michael Saylor, has further invested in Bitcoin, purchasing approximately 3,000 tokens for $155.4 million this February. This acquisition, made with cash, boosts the company's total Bitcoin holdings to around 193,000, valued at nearly $10 billion. Saylor, who sees Bitcoin as an inflation hedge and a cash alternative, started this strategy in 2020. Since then, Bitcoin's value has surged by about 460%. The recent purchase's average price was $5,180 zero per token, compared to their overall average holding cost of $31,500. Despite market fluctuations, MicroStrategy shows no signs of selling, with Saylor commenting on Bloomberg TV about the prudence of holding on to a winner. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is currently blasting off to about $55,000, Ethereum is over 3,000, and Solana is $111. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Yesterday, we had our minds blown talking about time crystals. As promised, today, we explain what a qubit actually is. Qubits, or quantum bits, are the fundamental units of quantum computing, similar to bits in classical computing. While a bit is a binary unit, that can be either zero or one. A qubit differs significantly. It can exist not only as zero or one, but also in a state of superposition, where it embodies both values simultaneously. This unique trait arises from quantum phenomena like superposition and entanglement. Qubits are made from quantum systems, such as electrons or photons, and have two distinct states representing zero and one. 
They're versatile, being able to undergo incompatible measurements and entangle with other qubits. This ability enables quantum computers to perform complex computations far beyond the scope of classical computers. Qubits come in various forms, including spin, trapped atoms and ions, photons and superconducting circuits, each with unique properties suited for different quantum technologies. Ouch, my brain. And in entertainment news, Kevin Costner, renowned for his roles in Westerns, is set to captivate audiences with his latest project, Horizon, an American saga. This ambitious cinematic endeavor, directed, co-written, and starring Costner, unfolds across four separate movies. The saga, set in the post-Civil War era, promises a fresh perspective on Westerns, moving away from the conventional town-based narratives. Costner describes this project as the biggest struggle of his career, both in ambition and budget. The star-studded cast includes Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Gina Malone, and more. The story explores the tumultuous period of the Civil War from 1861 to 1865, delving into the experiences of various families and individuals during this critical time in American history. The first chapter of this epic tale is set to release in theaters on June 28th, followed by the second chapter on August 16th. Fans of Costner and Westerns alike eagerly await this groundbreaking series, but we are all a little peeved that he bailed on the finale of Yellowstone, one of the best drama series of the last 20 years. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from Albert Einstein. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. <laughs>